What's up guys, Open Ice Hits with Scotty2Hockey, on to Upper Deck MVP, just did Upper Deck Series 1 and 2, Blaster Box, got an Andreas Jankinson, Young Guns Canvas, caught another nice Young Gun and another nice uh, few inserts, so if you haven't seen it, please check it out, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, and if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button and leave a comment. Now there's a little bit of glare coming off the lighting, so... When I go through these cards, I didn't notice it when I was doing the UD Series 1, but I'm noticing it now. When I go through these cards, I'm going to uh, be very careful when I take out the inserts and show them to you guys in the camera what they look like. And I'll be saying aloud what kind of hits I get. I'm sure you guys will be able to pick up the cards, tell which ones they are, but uh, sorry if there's a little bit of glare, guys. I'm not used to doing card breaks. This is only my fourth time doing one, so I'm working on different camera angles. You guys let me know what you like. And also, I hit this earlier today, too. Andreas Janssen Young Guns, beautiful little card. See, Andreas Janssen Young Guns, beauty. Hold it, is it that way? Yeah, there's a lot of glare coming off the light that way. So if I hold it this way, it's not so bad. But anyways, guys, you let me know what you think. I will eventually get a better camera for this particular. Because when I do my live streams, when I do my game reviews, this camera's excellent for it. it, it when you're sitting back and it's just picking you up from a distance, it's not bad, but uh, it picks up a lot of glare on these cards. But anyways, guys, Upper Deck MVP 21 packs retail box. Uh, 21 packs is 20 packs plus a bonus pack. Now, let's go through this. Unless I'm mistaken and it's actually 22 packs, 21 packs plus a bonus pack. I've never actually sat down and took the time to count. But yeah, 21 packs. Upper Deck MVP, kind of the cheaper Upper Deck product. Good for people that want to just collect like nice shiny inserts and stuff like that. But you can get some good stuff in this. You can get a uh, Jack Hughes Redemption this year. You can get some nice parallels. I really, really like the gold scripts. In every box, there's a gold script. Every one of these boxes. Last box, I got a Nikita Kucherov. So yeah, Upper Deck MVP. Phillips D9 in the box. I accidentally called him Dylan Larkin in my last video. Okay, here we go. 21 packs of Upper Deck MVP. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Wish me luck. And I also went down and got these today at Walmart, too. Really cheap. Four bucks, 35 inserts. Can't go wrong. 35 hard plastic. Now, turn them this way. Now, MVP is a bit harder to open, so I had to have an assistant for this one to open them. My trusty scissors. Here we go. Upper Deck MVP, 21 packs, guys. 21 packs. I also seen, I don't know if you can get them in these boxes, but I seen somebody hit a printing plate. I believe it was Yasperi Kakanami, if I'm not mistaken, but the uh, Yasperi Kakanami printing plate. But somebody hit a printing plate in these Upper Deck MVP packs. I was blown away when I was watching the uh, break online. I did not know you could get, and it was a one of one. I did not know you could get one of one printing plates in these boxes. But anyways, guys, the Tuna, Thomas Tatar. We have Timo Meyer. And our first insert, a Neck Crashers, Vladimir Tarasenko. Not a bad insert at all. These are one in every 35 packs. Something like that. Uh, it's pretty close. If it's not one in every 35, it's one in every 34. But it's one in the 30s. We have a PK Subban base. Sometimes you get two inserts in one pack. When you get your gold script, you're going to get a silver script with it most likely. And we have a Sam Reinhardt base. Not so much focus on holding the base up to the cameras as much as I am the inserts. I want you guys to see the inserts. Especially for people that don't collect a lot of cards and are just looking to see what uh, certain particular cards look like. Now, let's get into pack number two. That was actually a really good first pack. I'm not going to lie. For the very first pack I opened, the Net Crashers cannot complain. Usually, it take, usually you get a couple of rookies, a couple of base packs, then you hit like a Supernovas or a Net Crashers or a Laser Shots. Laser shots, uh, the red parallel laser shots are one in every 100 packs. And I, I, in my last unboxing of these, I hit a Connor McDavid red laser shot. So that's one in every 100 packs, and it was the best player you can possibly get. So cannot complain in that situation. Up next, we have a Darnell Nurse base. I believe we have a Stanley Cup edition silver script after that. We have an Alex Wenberg base. We have a Ryan O'Reilly Stanley Cup edition. These are like old school looking cards. Base, or uh, not base, excuse me, silver script. 
nice two nice inserts to start. I love those old Stanley Cup edition silver and we and the silver scripts. And we have an Andrew Shaw and an Oscar Clefbaum. I have Clefbaum on my fantasy hockey team, so wishing nothing but good things for Clefbaum. I'm gonna have to lay a few of these inserts from earlier over here too. I have some really good inserts I got earlier. And I don't want to get them mixed up with my MVP, so I lay them over there. Big difference between series one and MVP. Okay. I should have these scissors on hand, should not. It would make a lot more sense for me to have these scissors on hand. Now, my trusty assistant. Guys, smash the like button for those as well. You know, scissors are underrated. They are a really, really good tool. We have a Zach Parise base. We have a Mark Giordano base, uh, base pack. Sidney Crosby base. Hold up a bit closer for you guys. A Matthew Kachuk base. And a Matthew Barcel base. I have the whole base set of Upper Deck and a pile of other base of uh, MVP, excuse me, and a pile of other MVP base. It's ridiculous how much base. This pack feels kind of thick. Maybe this is the one with the silver script. Okay. Yeah, this pack does feel kind of thicker than the other packs for some reason. I feel there's an. I, I could be wrong, but it feels like there's an insert in here for sure. Maybe something with foil on it, which is making it thicker. Oh, I'm not getting any corners. Come on, you know better than that. Now we have a Ricard Raquel, another guy I have in my fantasy league. Maybe there's not an insert in this. We have Ricard Raquel base, Jeff Carter base, Evgeny Dadnoff base, Clayton Keller base. There was, oh, and John Carlson base. So yeah, I was way off on that. That's what the base cards look like. Beautiful cards. Hopefully my camera's picking it up well. Now, these ones, all the cards are like pushed up on them for some reason. Knock them down just to open them. And, and anybody who's cracked these packs, these new MVP packs, man, are they ever hard to open? Like you literally have to fight with fight with an open. If you don't have fingernails, good luck getting these open. And as you can tell, I don't have very long fingernails. Um, Brooks or pick base. Brooks or pick. We have a Shane Goss Spear Base. Our first silver script, Ryan Pollock Silver Script. I'm getting my base and my insert mixed up here. And Tyler Toffoli, Brendan Gallagher Base. Good old Galley. Beautiful. Ugly goal for Galley the other night, but it still was nice to see him score. Um, against Columbus? Yeah, it was against Columbus. A really ugly goal from just inside the blue line. Elvis Merlikins. Montreal had price in that, and Columbus had some guy named Elvis who actually played pretty good. He had an over 900 save percentage. I know that much. Yeah. And Montreal won the game, which is what counts. Go Habs, go Habs. You're having a great start to the season so far. Um, we have an Alex Tuck base. We have a Patrice Bergeron base. Ooh, our first puzzle variant. I like these. Can you guess who that is? There's an A on his sweater from the LA Kings. I got a feeling it's Anze Kopitar. It could be right. It could be right. We have a Charlie Coyle. I don't even know who the captain of the Kings is. That's pretty bad. Mike Hoffman. I would assume it's Dowdy, but I honestly, off the top of my head, couldn't tell you who the ca I can tell you who the captain is of uh, most other NHL teams, but LA, like, would it be Kopitar or would it be Dowdy? Who's the captain of L.A.? Jeff, well, wouldn't be Jeff Carter. I don't even know if Jeff Carter even plays probably anymore. That shows you how much I know about the L.A. Kings. One of the few teams in the NHL I truly do not follow, along with New Jersey and Florida. Um, ooh, Andre Anthony C.U., another guy I have in fantasy hockey. Taylor Hall base. Might not be wearing a Devil's uniform for much longer. And we have our first rookie. I actually have doubles of this guy, Ryan Lingren. Good young rookie, though. I believe he scored his first NHL goal a couple games ago. John Gibson, my fantasy goalie. Excellent fantasy goalie. Vincent Trocek base. So, so far, not bad. Almost. Uh, we're about one quarter through the box. Man, these MVP packs are the brutalest thing ever. Before I even did the break, I should have just cut an edge on every corner. But then people would be saying, oh, you you packed those yourself, even though I'm just getting half base packs here. There are people who do that, do breaks, and then put
put inserts in packs and make it look like they hit the insert to, to get the uh, views to put the headline on oh big hit nah no nah, i'm not not with mvp man you're not going to get that big of a hit unless you're getting a printing plate we have a carter hart Ooh, carter hart i like that i know um I believe it's Zeri Gaming. Yeah, he collects Carter Hart, one of my favorite channels. If you haven't seen him, check him out. And a great day for hockey is another really good one for breaks. And three guys, one puck. Love their channel, too. Anders Lee. I watch a lot of break channels. Uh, Darcy Kemper. Nicholas Backstrom. Travis Konecki. So another all-base pack. Sometimes in the all-base packs, you have to look at the back if you don't know a lot about the particular card look at the back of the mvps because some of these are puzzle variants and they look just like the base cards pretty much but on the back there's a puzzle piece i believe you get two a box something like that Jaden schwartz robin leonard base michael granlin base ryan Suter base Ben Bishop base. Apparently, these few packs have been all about that base. That's not what I'm all about. Come on, something nice here. This pack feels kind of heavy. But last time I said that, why do we get all base? So, don't take my word for it that there's an insert in it. But it feels like there may be in this one. If you pick up any background noise, guys, it's my daughter in the bedroom with my girlfriend. Thankfully, my girlfriend was nice enough to give me a half hour to open some cards on camera. Because I really wanted to share this with you guys. The, the, the guys on my channel who are... Oh, we got an insert. The guys on my channel who are fans of hockey cards, like myself. We have a Jacob Vrana base. Hopefully this is a red parallel. I think it's a laser shot, but hopefully it's a red parallel if it is. Chris Tyranny base. Ah, it's just a plain laser shot. Evgeny Malkin. I don't have that one, though. Laser shots are what? One in every 20-something packs? Something like... Plain laser... Maybe plain laser shots are only one in every 14. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to look off at the back of the pack to tell you, and I will do that in about two seconds. Okay, don't get my base mixed up with my inserts here now because I want to have them for the review. And we also have a TJ Miller, JT Miller, excuse me, and Josh Anderson base. So my inserts are here. Now let's look. What are the odds of regular laser shots? I know red parallel laser shots for sure are one in 100 because I've been trying to get as many of them as I can. I had three so far. Um... Silver Script Edition, Super No Shirt, Laser Shots, 1 in 25 packs. So pretty much in the middle of what I was saying. Meet me in the middle. Okay. Are we going to get our gold script? This is the right side of the pack right here. So I believe most of the hits are on the left side from my experience when it comes to MVP. Uh, I've cracked quite a few of these blasters. Thomas Hurdle, base. Thomas Shabbat, base. Leon Drysaddle, base. Five assists for Drysaddle last night. Six points for McDavid. Crazy game. John Klimberg, base. Zach Wierenski, base. If, if, he didn't have, if McDavid didn't have six points, he had five for sure. It was a pretty crazy game for Edmonton. Drysaddle was awesome last night. Edmonton in general is awesome this year. James Neal for Milan Lucic. A lot of fleecing. Uh, Calgary did get an extra pick with that, though. No one talks about it. Calgary got a third-round pick with that, too. But come on, man. Look at what Edmonton got for Milan Lucic. It's crazy. James Neal is one of the leaders in goals this year already. Kyle Palmieri, base. Nick Ritchie, base. Henrik Lundqvist, base. Alex Galchenyuk, base. Tyler Sagan, base. Nothing special there, guys. Now, we're on to the second half of the box. There's guaranteed a gold script in this. There's One of these is a hot pack with a gold script in it. Hopefully, I can get one of those cool, uh, I forget what they're called. They're uh, parallels of the scripts. They're, they have really cool looking cards with a red script on them. I honestly can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. I've only ever gotten two. They're not, they, they're not worth a tall, pile of money. Certain gold scripts are worth a bit. Rookie silver scripts are worth a bit, but... Uh, the other ones just look really cool. Laser shots, some of those are worth a bit. And, of course, redemptions. I would love to get a redemption in this box. Would love to get a redemption for that Jack Hughes. Number one draft pick card. Oh, we have something in here. We have an insert in here for sure, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we, I think, believe it's a Stanley Cup edition. Could be wrong. We have a Wayne Simmons base. A Lars Eller base. A Patrice Bergeron Stanley Competition Silver Script, and that is a beautiful, beautiful autograph, I must say. Um, Paul Stasny Base, 
and Jonathan Huberto Bass. Up next, we have the guy who got suspended for doing coke at the beginning of the year, but excellent, excellent hockey player, but there's no way you can deny that he did, didn't do coke. He came up in the system, and before he came up in the system, he was saying, oh, they just did it in front of him, he ran away from it. It's some ridiculous excuse, but yeah, I got caught doing cocaine, so the John Jones of the NHL, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Brock Besser base, love Brock Besser, what is this? Oh, it's just a silver script. Connor Hellebuck, Silver Script, Brent Burns, another guy I have in my fantasy, and Kyle Connor. I'm going to peg Reese on him this summer to a nice little contract. I'm going to try this from the bottom because most of these cards, for some reason, are pushed up top. It's like somebody took this box and shook it, and they all got stuck upside down. Okay, here we go. Getting down to the nitty gritty. I can't wait to get that gold script just to see who it is. We had. A Marcus Johansson base. A Devin Dubnik base. There's our gold script. Aaron Ekblad gold script. And there wasn't a silver script with it. That's really weird. There's usually always a silver script or Stanley Cup edition with those. Anyways, an Aaron Ekblad gold script. So far, as far as MVP goes, we got that neck crash just to begin with. And we got a couple of scripts, but hasn't been the greatest break. Um, Elias Lindholm and Dominic Cahoon. Like last time I did it, I got the silver, I got the gold script, uh, Kuznetsov. I got a rookie silver script, and I got a red laser shots parallel. I'm not complaining, but this break could be a little bit better. I got two cards: one that's one in thirty-five, one that's one in twenty-five, and a twenty-one pack box. So, and it's not over yet. Come on, redemption! Come on, Jack Hughes, redemption! Ryan Johansson, base. Evander Kane, base. Ooh, a rookie. Eric Branstrom. I don't have his rookie yet. Sweet. Uh, Eric Branstrom, rookie. Ryan Murray, rookie. Jamie Benn, rookie. And every time I break MVP, I always go through all the base at the end because there's a couple times I have missed rookies because at the top of the way they're set up, you, you can't really always pick out a rookie when you're going through the base. Like Sometimes it's hard to tell. you got to really be looking for it which I usually am. I usually expect it. I have missed it a lot, but there's been a few times. I like I've gone through base before and picked out five rookies that I missed of MVP, not of other cards. Okay. This guy. The guy who's why all these young free agents are getting so much money, he's a big part of the reason. Jack Eichel, they can thank him. Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. Uh Patrick Hornquist. Another base. Braden Hopi. Box has been all about that base. Nito Niederreiter and Justin Schultz. How many packs do we have left? We're down to the last four packs. Come on, Redemption. Come on, Jack Hughes, Redemption. Something fancy. Something I haven't seen. Red laser shots parallel. Something to make this box almost as exciting as the UD Series 1. Young Gun Cabinets, Andre, Andreas Johnson. If you haven't seen that video, guys, check it out. Our Temi Panarin base. Connor Hellebuck base. Uh, Matt Zuccarello base, Zooks, Ty Ratty base, Andre Burakovsky base. Ty Ratty looked really good in the preseason a few years ago. Haven't, hasn't really done much since. Some people would probably call this sacrilege. Wearing a basketball jersey, open up hockey cards. But man, I love both. Okay. Riley Smith base. Bo Horvat base. Ooh, a puzzle variant. Jordan Bennington on the front. And can you guys guess who that is? E-L-I with the corner of a Vancouver Canucks jersey. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's Elias Pedersen. Which would be very good for me because I almost have his whole puzzle now. Uh, Ryan McDonough. Josh Morrissey. I'm one piece off the Jamie Benn puzzle. One piece. I'd love to get it in this box. It, just getting that piece would make this whole break awesome for me. Oh, let's leave this over to the side. 
Today has been a good day for me. A great, as the guy, one of the guys whose channel I love, his channel is called A Great Day for Hockey Cards. Today has been a great day for Hockey Cards for me. Andreas Janssen, regular Young Guns, and I got an Andreas Janssen Young Guns canvas out of the last break I've done, which I'm posting the video up very soon. And we have an Andre Vasilevsky base, an Alex Ovechkin base, a Alexander Texier base. I had doubles of that. Uh, Brady Kachuk base, Linus Omak base, another guy who I have in fantasy who I had to drop soon because he's barely even getting any starts. Um, last pack of upper deck MVP, please. The lucky rub, the lucky rub, redemption. Please be a redemption in here. Or something cool. Red laser shots parallel. The last pack. Come on. I always save the best for last. Come on. There's got to be something there. There's something. There's something. I think it's a laser shots. Could be wrong. We have a David Riddick Nazem. Uh, David Riddick base. David Riddick Nazem. Nazem Kadri base. And I'm going to go this way with this. We have an Elias Pedersen base. Love that guy. Claude Giroux base, and last, but well, we've seen the Nazem Claude base, but last card, last insert of the day, what is it? A rookie silver script of Philippe Myers. Rookie silver script of Philippe Myers. I honestly thought that was a laser shot for some reason. Wow, the back of it looked like a laser shot. Red. Oh, this is hoping for a red. That's nice, though. A rookie silver script of Philippe Myers. Philippe Myers, 2018-2019 for the Flyers. 21 games played, one goal, one assist, two points, minus five, two penalty minutes. Yeah, I don't know a lot about this guy, but hopefully he turns on a red. I have his rookie silver script. So, yeah, now let's go through the inserts. Let's recap what I got in this box. Throw these base to the side. Throw these base to the side. More base to the side. Okay, now let's go through the recap. My puzzle pieces. There's one. And there's two. Okay. Very first cool things that you get out of MVP. We got two puzzle pieces. We got a Lars Pedersen and a piece of Anze Kopitar. We have a Vladimir Tarasenko Net Crashers. We have a Ryan O'Reilly Stanley Cup Edition Silver Script. We have a Ryan Pullock Silver Script. We have a Ryan Lindgren Rookie. We have a Evgeny Melkin regular non-parallel laser shots. We have a Patri beautiful autograph and a beautiful script on this. Patrice Bergeron silver script, Stanley Cup edition. I love his autograph. It's beautiful. We have a Connor Hellebuck silver script. I'm pretty sure I got the whole set of silver script of these. We have, this was our gold script, Aaron Ekblad gold script. As you can see, it has the gold border. Beautiful, no, really nice looking for two dollar packs or thirty dollars for a blaster pack of twenty one packs. Like, really nice looking little cards. We have an Eric Branstrom rookie. I needed that rookie to be honest. Um, we have another guy I have doubles of Alexander Texier rookie. And last but not least, our very last card of the break, Philippe. Myers. So today has been a good day for me so far. This box of MVP was nothing overly special, but overall I've had a good day. Like these are some of the things I've gotten today. I, that's a power press. Like these just regular inserts. But look, I got some really nice things today. I got an Andreas Janssen Young Guns canvas, a UC Valmaki Young Guns, and an Andreas Janssen regular Young Guns. So yeah. I got some really nice cards today. Check out my other break for more inserts out of the UD series I got. Anyways, guys, Open Ice Hits with Scotty to Hockey. I appreciate you viewing this. And if you haven't yet, please smash that like button. Please smash that subscribe button. Have a good day. Scotty to Hockey. Over and out.